One of the reason why students fail in their ACCA financial management exam is not because of practical question, but because they are not able to handle theory very well. Hi, this is Sayed Dasha Maheshwari, a proud Fintrammer and a global faculty for financial management. In this video, we will be discussing how to handle financial management theory. So without wasting any minute, let's just begin. Do you know what is the weightage of theory in financial management exam? If I combine section A, B, C all together, the weightage of theory in financial management exam is around 30 to 40 percent. That's a quite high weightage. But do we invest same amount of time in understanding the theory? The answer is no. We invest most of our time in doing practical question. And that's one of the reasons that students are not able to score good marks in financial management. Today, I'm here to give you some tips and tricks to handle financial management theory. First thing which you need to understand that what are those prime area from where the theory questions are going to come. So those area are firstly the entire section A, then sources of finance, then business valuation, and then cost of capital. These are the prime area from where theory questions are asked heavily. So you need to have proper concept clarity regarding theory from these area but that does not mean that from other part of syllabus area theory questions cannot come also one more thing which you need to understand that in acca you don't need cramming it's a practical theory okay you don't need cramming you need concept building so whatever area it is whatever area whether syllabus area a b c d e whatever whatever theory you are understanding understand its concept understand if this is happening why it happened what will be its implication on the company what will be its implication or consequences on the financial statement that is the way you are going to tackle or understand theory in financial management you don't need to cram anything you need to build your concept because in the exam also questions will be asked in that particular manner they will be asking you that why it is required in an organization to manage working capital so they are not asking what is working capital management they are asking why it is required for that you need concept clarity the second thing which you need to understand over here is understanding of quotient so whenever in the exam you're reading quotient please understand properly because according to that you are going to draft your answer so if they're asking you for recommending something if they're asking you for commenting something if they're asking you to give some conclusion please draft your answer accordingly and you know present in a manner in which acc wants from you so these are some tips and tricks by which you can manage your theory very well and score good marks in financial management theory. I hope this video is useful to you. If yes, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will meet you again. Till then, this is Siyadasha Maheshwari signing off. Arre, wait, wait. It seems that most of you who are watching this video have not subscribed to our channel. You would miss the new videos and the updates. Subscribe now and press the bell icon.